Moving on to the 11th question, given a piece of string is 30 cm long and what will be the length of each side if the string is used to form a square, an equilateral triangle and a regular hexagon. Let's do the solution. Given that length of the string is 30 cm and we should find the length of each side in the following cases. First consider the case in which the string is used to form a square. Here is the square. In order to bend the string in the form of a square, the perimeter of the square must be equal to the length of the string. This implies we know that Perimeter of a square is 4 times the length of side. This is equal to length of the string 30 centimeters. This implies by transposing 4 to the RHS, we get side is equal to 30 centimeters upon 4, which is equal to here 30 and 4 are multiples of 2. So, 2 goes in 30 by 15 times and in 4 by 2 times which gives 15 upon 2 centimeters which in decimal form gives 7.5 centimeters. Therefore, length of each side of square is equal to 7.5 centimeters. Now, taking the case of an equilateral triangle, here is the equilateral triangle. In order to form an equilateral triangle with the string, the perimeter of the equilateral triangle must be equal to the length of the string. This implies we know that the perimeter of an equilateral triangle is 3 times the length of each side. This is equal to length of the string is 30 centimeters. This implies 3 times side is equal to 30 centimeters. By transposing 3 to the RHS, we get side is equal to 30 centimeters upon 3 and here 3 goes in 30 by 10 times and we get length of side of the equilateral triangle as 10 centimeters. Therefore, length of each side of equilateral triangle is equal to 10 centimeters. Now, take down the case of the regular hexagon. Here is the regular hexagon. In order to form a regular hexagon with the given piece of string, the perimeter of the regular hexagon must be equal to length of the string which implies perimeter of the regular hexagon is nothing but 6 times the length of each side. This is equal to length of the string is 30 centimeters. This implies by transposing 6 to the RHS we get side is equal to 30 centimeters upon 6 which gives 6 goes in 30 by 5 times and we get length of side as 5 cm. Therefore, length of each side of the regular hexagon is equal to 5 cm.